Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about water pollution. Basically, we will be starting with what is water pollution, types of water pollution, causes of water pollution, effects of water pollution, and how to prevent water pollution. So, let us start our tutorial with what is air pollution. Sorry, what is water pollution? Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies. Water bodies are nothing but lakes, oceans, groundwater, everything comes under water bodies and water pollution occurs when the pollutants are directly or indirectly discharged, discharged into the water without adequate treatment to remove the harmful components. It is nothing but adding some pollutants to water. It is nothing but water pollution. In some other words we can say the water is contaminated due to the pollutants we can form many statements with this small small information so I hope now everyone is clear with what is water pollution let us take some examples okay it is caused by pesticides and fertilizers okay basically pesticides and fertilizers are used by farmers and whenever the farmers are watering their plant their crops they'll be directly digging it from nearby nearby water bodies so whenever the water come from there to here and it mixes up with pesticides and fertilizers and if the water goes under the water table with that pesticides it is going to damage the whole underground water supply which makes the contamination of whole underground water so pesticides and fertilizers are really dangerous so Farmers should use eco-friendly eco -friendly materials so that it decreases water pollution. Okay, and even oil, grease and chemicals from cars and trucks. Even this causes water pollution industrial wastes or directly dumping any, any waste into water body causes water pollution. So I hope everyone is now clear with water pollution. Okay, let's go with types of water pollution. That is nothing but sources of water pollution. Sources of water pollution is nothing but to be clear there are two types that is point source, non-point source. Point source include factories, refineries and waste treatment plants. Point source is nothing but direct emission into water. That is the direct way. Non-point source means that is a bit lengthy process but that also results the same. But it is not completely directly, it is an indirect way. Okay, I hope everyone got an idea. This is all about point and non-point. So let's take some examples of point source. Point source examples are factories, refineries and waste treatment plants which are directly dropped or dumped into the water resources or water bodies. Okay, non-point source are or indirect source of contamination these categorize the pollution pollutant that enters the water supply from soil or groundwater system the main reason behind this is fertilizers guys previously i have explained while we are going through the examples so that is an indirect way it is going through the water table and it's mixing up with the groundwater which causes lots of pollution so i hope everyone is now clear with what is air pollution some examples and point source and non point source i hope everyone is clear now so let us go through causes of water pollution okay dumping of industrial wastes into water bodies it is a cause it is a cause to water pollution usage of fertilizers and crops when applied on crop runoff into river and streams thereby causing water pollution even this also causes due to fertilizers and pesticides guys if there is a free run of water along the way where the farmers are cultivating the plants even the water continues to the stream let us assume that here is a crop plant and this is a river and if he tries to take the water it just mixes up and if any few drops or few amount of water returns into the lake then it is lake or river it is going to affect the whole lake with pollution guys Okay, so fertilizers and pesticides are the major problem and human activities like mining, 
deforestation generation of power also leads to water pollution as generation of power in few situations will lead to increase in temperature like when they are trying to generate electricity from coal they will be burning coal at high temperatures so water is used as a coolant and once the water comes out of that chamber it is of no use guys and it is completely polluted water okay and next oil spink oil spy oil spills these are really hard to clean these are used to purify the oil guys okay and domestic sewage domestic sewage is grind into the water bodies thus causing water pollution this is something like domestical waste sewage means that is nothing but waste domestic waste which leads to water pollution testing of nuclear weapons and you and you nuclear accidents accidents the radioactive materials and everything which are directly led into water or indirectly led into water causes water pollution that's it guys those are the causes of water pollution and let's go through effects of water pollution water pollution it contaminates water bodies yes that's the truth it affects all ecosystems like marine ecosystem marine the animals and plants which live under water it is going to affect them a lot and the next point is it leads to many diseases causing factors yeah once the polluted water or a stagnant water is formed there is a lots of chance of growing mosquitoes there so which increases many diseases okay more than 1400 people die due to water pollution means which passes diseases okay damage of water ecosystem yes this we have discussed previously next reduce availability of drinking water yes if the water is polluted who is going to drink that which causes if they drink that they going to die or they will be infected with many kind of diseases okay diseases like cholera and malaria are commonly found yes okay steps to decrease water pollution prevent ground water contamination yes when this indirectly leads to decrease in usage of fertilizers and pesticides okay do afforestation reduce air pollution air pollution is also a factor of water pollution follow reduce recycle and reuse reduce reuse recycle okay safely dispose human excreta yes usage of plastic items should be decreased as every item around us is formed from plastic i hope everyone know the fact that use eco friendly products yes we need to use the eco friendly products so that that decreases the usage of plastic and many unwanted materials which causes pollution purify the industrial wastes guys if industrial wastes are purified it going to reduce a lot of pollution guys even air water and it causes many pollution many types of pollutions so in the so this is the conclusion of water pollution so in this tutorial we have learned what is water pollution types or causes of water pollution and causes of water pollution and effects of water pollution and we have discussed all about prevention measures of water pollution so i hope everyone is clear with all the topics thank you guys thanks for watching